This week on The Wire, house prices drive rise in wealth, residential rental listings drop, and units join price growth trend. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment and more. Our top story for this week, house prices drive rise in wealth. So Australians have become even wealthier in the past year with new figures revealing the growth in property values has helped drive household wealth up by almost 6%. Now, the latest ABS figures on household wealth for the June quarter 2021 shows that household wealth has now hit a record $13.4 trillion with wealth per capita up to over $522,000. Now, residential property contributed to 4.5 percentage points to the quarterly growth in wealth, with superannuation adding 1.1 percentage points and shares 0.3 percentage points. Now, with Australians unable to travel, savings were also high with almost $350 billion, I should say, sitting in Australian banks, although household savings weakened in June on the back of further spending and fewer lockdown days. Now, ABS Head of Finance and Wealth, Catherine Keenan, says growth in owner-occupied loan balances is the strongest it has been for up to five years, and that the value of loans to owner-occupiers hit new highs in the first six months of 2021. And now, guys, moving on to our next story, residential rest rental listings drop. So renters are finding it even harder to secure new premises with the number of properties available for rent at a near all-time low in August. So the latest REA Group's PropTrack rental listings report reveals that new rental listings dropped by almost 4% in August, the lowest level since December 2019 before the pandemic hit. Now the fall was most substantial in regional Australia with listings down 4.7% in August while capital cities listings dropped 1.3%. Now, the report found regional New South Wales, WA and Tasmania experienced the biggest drop it drops in listings. REA Group Director of Economic Research Cameron Kusher says the high number of owner-occupiers buying property is contributing to the lack of rental properties. Now, new listings in August dropped by 30% in Canberra, 17% in Melbourne, 10% in Hobart, 3.7% in Brisbane, 2.2% in Perth and 1.1% in Adelaide, while listings increased 6.7% in Sydney and 5.4% in Adelaide. Now, vacancy rates are still high in inner city suburbs in Sydney and Melbourne, which have a large proportion of units. Now, guys, moving on to our final story of the week. Units join price growth trend. So units are proving popular with buyers, with new data revealing record high demand in many suburbs. So CoreLogic figures show demand for units in suburbs with desirable lifestyles are on the rise. Now more than half, that's 560 of the 994 unit markets analysed by CoreLogic are experiencing record high prices with average growth of 16% or $108,000 since March last year. Now, two thirds of those 560 growth markets are in capital cities. Now, CoreLogic Australia Head of Research Eliza Owen says while some apartment markets in the inner cities continue to struggle, she expects to see further value increases in other unit markets, particularly those in desirable lifestyle locations. Now, Owen says the strong price growth in house prices in the past year appears to be slowing slightly with the unit market now experiencing an uplift. But there are 434 unit markets which have values still below their pre-pandemic levels, with the top 10 biggest drops all occurring within Greater Melbourne. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.